So this is part two of cleaning up the injectors on the 2.4 Transit TDVI. So today we're going to be refurbishing this unit by cleaning up the tip. I'll go through that in a small stage with you. What I've done at the moment is clean it over with a rag to get the excess dirt off. But today I've brought it into work to give it a good clean. Right then guys, so I've removed the outer sleeve from the injector itself in order to be able to clean it up. And inside, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a little O-clip, C-clip. This obviously locates around this ring here, fits like that. So let's give this a quick clean out. So I'm quite fortunate, I've got a sonic cleaner. So what we're gonna do is find a little cage to put this injector in. I'm not gonna submerse it all the way, just the tip. So I wanna find a cage and I wanna heat up this bottom bit in a solution. Injector in a cage inside a sonic solution. So I'm going to turn this on, put the lid on, leave it for 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the results. Comment just about that, it wasn't um, 20 minutes, it was only 5 minutes. The reason why I needed to just do that was to release the carbon at the front here. You can already see a difference after 5 minutes. See the blacking on here is um, from aging, it should be like this light colour. Yeah, you can clearly see a difference already. Right, the reason I've dipped that for five minutes, you can see the massive difference already. I was just so I can crack the tip off, I'm now going to remove the tip. This process we need to be very careful because there's two small dowels inside here which locates the tip in the correct way. So we have a 14mm socket which I've already got. There's a flat on the sides here, do not clamp up on this body. There's a flat so we're going to clamp that in the vise. We've got our 14mm socket. I'm going to bring you guys a bit closer. Right, 14mm socket. It takes quite a bit of force. Right, he's just cracked off now. Did you hear that? So I'm going to. Leave it a second. We got it back. Ah, sorry about that. It's right next to me. Just want a little bit of WD-40 in that crack. Right, slow moves, double checking the tip every time, it's a very delicate process for the reason being there's two small dowels which I'll show you in a minute. I want to slack it off to the point where I can undo it with my fingers. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Alright, so the tip's wobbly now. I don't know if you can see that. Right. So we're 
going to hold the top of the tip whilst unscrewing. And it all seems to be coming together. And you'll see why now I said hold the top because the pin in the middle is likely to fall out. There's the internal spring. And we're after this bad boy, the tip. There's a little pin inside here, it should fall out. I'll be very careful with this. There we go, see the little spleens on there? Or flutes, sorry. Need to be very careful with this. Right, so the plan is to now sonic clean this. I'll be right back. Right, so whilst the tip's um, being cleaned and the sonic cleaner again, we're going to see what's inside the main body itself now. Just try and lay this out as it comes out. So I've moved the main spring. Careful to note how it comes out. Check for any signs of wear. All looks good. Brilliant. Right, so what I'm going to do is clean the internals just with an airline. Blowing from the top, obviously you're going to have a stream jack come out. And that's it for this side. Here we have components of a Dalphi injector for a TDDI 2.4 transit van 2005 reg. Right then people, so what we've gone from is an old looking injector like this. half an hour sonic cleaning to this the tip has come up absolutely beautiful you can 
almost see the holes in the nozzle there. But yeah. Bit of a difference, eh? So what we're now going to do is the reassemble side of things. So I'm gonna find a little um, a little tray, put all of this at soak it in some diesel, and then go for the rebuild. We discard the washer, never reuse the seat and washer. So I'll order some new ones of those. As you can now probably see the little nozzles. Should be five. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Those little pinholes in the nozzle. Right, so now we've cleaned the tip. A little test we can do. Let's check the fans on these. I don't know if that shows on camera, but as good as new. Right, so I've got myself a pot. Make sure it's extra clean inside here because you want any little contaminated bits getting inside. So clean your pot out. I've got myself some diesel and a spray bottle. Right, so you want to put the smaller bits, put it all inside the tray. Right, so the first thing we're going to want to do, we want to check the pin location inside the nozzle. Just inspecting the uh, the flutes to make sure everything's okay. Give it one quick blow down. what we're looking for we don't want to be forcing this pin in it should technically fall out on its own accord whether it would or not probably because it's got suction inside there yep there we go that should fall out so we're winning Right. I'm spray a bit of diesel directly inside the nozzle now. See it running out the bottom. Perfect. Now the easiest way I find to do these actually assemble this first so with this assembled it's going to locate directly inside it should sit back down as normal like this Assembling's a lot quicker than um, the rest, I must admit. So I'm actually put the nozzle on now. 
So as you can see, there's three holes on the top. Two are for the little dowels, and one is the feed for your diesel injection. You can see there's a gap in between, so the collar is what's going to push it down on its seat. So you can put this up in the vice now. the collar very gentle to fine threads Tighten them up. Obviously, don't over tighten them because it's fine threaded. Realistically, we need a torque wrench, but I haven't got one. Let's give it a nice tight squeeze. I've done a few of these in the past, so I've, I kind of know where the tightness is if you know what I mean. Now we're getting there, there you go. Nozzle's back on. Looking very clean. Impressed with that myself, I must admit. Now to get the main sleeve on. Right, so what we're going to want to do here is obviously, like I said, you don't want to hold on to the body in a vice because you're going to cause damage. So we now need to hold on to the 14 mil in a vice there. There's not much, as you can see, but it is possible. To locate this on the top, simply locate it on. I'll be right back to get my 21 mil socket. Sorry about that, my battery ran out. So yeah, where was I? 21 mil socket, lightly tap. Jobs are good. There we have it. A fully reconditioned, good as new ejector. Huge difference. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the poor editing and where I speak and stuff like that. I'm just getting started, so more likes and shares will be welcome. And I'll try and share a few more things like this. Have a nice day.